Okay, I'm gonna show you today how to make a big giant bow out of any size ribbon, any size bow. I'm using a really wide ribbon right now. I really recommend the wired ribbon. It will make you have a better chance at creating a nice sized bow um, that you can form the loops and stuff. First thing you wanna do is create a big figure eight showing the two loops in the approximate size you want your bow to be. So that's gonna be about how big the bow is. It's gonna be that big. You can make your loops shorter or longer if you want. Um, Make sure you leave a little piece of tail on the inside and then just keep wrapping the ribbon around this same shape until you get the size bow that you want. All right, we're gonna use this whole roll up. So again, when you pinch in the middle, make sure that your end, might want to adjust that a little bit, goes past the middle on both sides. And here's the middle where you're going to gather together. Fold it in half so you have these two equal parts. Okay, now this is too much bulk for the middle of our ribbon, so we're going to cut some of it out. We want to leave this middle part here, but we're going to come in on the side, cut through that wire, and then go back out towards the middle. So just basically notched it on the side to get rid of all of that bulk. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There. So that's gonna help us a lot in making the bow uh, look nice in the middle. So now we're gonna separate those pieces again and you can take a, um, a wire, a pipe cleaner, or even another piece of ribbon. Twist it around the middle and secure it tightly to hold your middle together. Okay, now from here all we have to do is separate all of these petals loops. So we're just going to take one off, go this way, and when you pull it off, I've got my hand under here too, you can pinch it and pull it away. So having that notch, see how the, the loops can be completely separate from each other? Um, that really helps a lot in making the middle of your bow look good without being too clunky. So I'm just going to go from the right to the left to the right to the left, pulling one to the front, one to the back. Just vary it so that, you know, your, your bow has a nice random look to the loops. Okay, that's that side. Now I'm going to go back to the other side. So we have some loops here. You're going to want to do... Um, more loops if you want a really full bow. Um, if you have a really wide ribbon or a narrow ribbon, you may need to adjust it. But um, if you find that when you're done, your bow isn't full enough, just make another one exactly the same way and wire them together. And then it'll be just as if you did it from the beginning. All right, almost done here, last two. Okay, now let's find my, there's my wire again. So there is my big, beautiful bow from here. I'm holding it. You can adjust the loops. Um, having the wire really helps a lot because you can sort of do this forming, squishing kind of, you know, and really just make that bow perfect for what you want to go on that giant present or on top of your tree or on a wreath or anywhere that you need a big bow.